Hi, I'm Lindsay Friend. I'm sales coordinator here at Simple Ray, and I also work to keep track of the policy in the states that we're working in. Um, today, we're going to talk a little bit about the Iowa Solar Tax Credit and what that means for you if you're an Iowan. Um, we're going to give people a couple more minutes to get inside the webinar, get ready, learn a whole bunch of stuff. Um, while we're waiting, um, I do want to point out the ask a question at the bottom have a question during the webinar, please post it in there and I'll be sure to try to answer as many questions as I can at the end of the webinar. Um, we are Simple Ray. Um, we used to be Iowa Wind and Solar. We are one of the largest, if not the largest, solar installer in the state of Iowa and we've been around for 10 years. So um, we're going to give people a few more seconds here and then we'll get started. So today we're going to cover the Iowa Solar Tax Credits, um, along with other, what other incentives are available to you. We're going to talk about what a tax credit is, maybe some recent news you've heard about the Iowa State Tax Credit, and how you can secure your tax credits. So to start off, we'll talk about the Federal Solar Tax Credit. Um, this tax credit covers 30% of the cost of the array. So you'll take the total cost that you spend on your array, and 30% of that will come back to you in a federal tax credit. There is no cap on this tax credit. Um, if you're a commercial entity and you buy the array through your business, you can roll the credit forward for 20 years. So say you don't have the tax liability to use all of your credit in the first year, you can roll that forward to the next years until you do have a tax liability again. Um, as you can see in the graph there, the tax credit for the federal side is starting to step down at the end of 2019. So for the remainder, remainder of 2018 and 2019, the federal tax credit will stay at 30%. Starting in 2020, it'll step down to 26%. 2021, it'll go down to 22%. And then in 2022, it'll stay at 10% for commercial entities. Um, it's important to note that the Iowa State tax credit is 15% right now. It stays at 50% of what the federal state tax credit is. So right now with the federal tax credit at 30%, the Iowa state tax credit's at 15%. But when the federal tax credit starts to step down, the Iowa tax credit is gonna start to step down as well. So for the remainder of this year and in 2019, the tax credit will be 15% of the array cost. But after that, it's gonna go down. Unlike the federal tax credit, there is a cap on the Iowa tax credit. So if you buy solar for your home, it's capped at $5,000. If you buy solar for your business, the Iowa tax credit is capped at $20,000. So these can be rolled forward for 10 years. Again, this is a little bit different than the federal tax credit, which was 20 years. Um, about tax credits, so tax credits reduce the amount of money you owe in taxes. So like the example below, say you owe $10,000 in taxes this year, you buy a really cool solar array and get $9,000 in tax credits, you're only gonna end up owing $1,000 in taxes. Um, so that's how a tax credit works. It's a little different than a deduction or anything like that. It actually reduces the amount of money that you're paying into taxes. So knowing this, Solar is way more affordable than you may think. Um, you can use the federal and state taxes together um, if you live in Iowa, that is. If you don't live in Iowa, you can still use the federal tax credit or any other state incentive you might have. Um, combined together, the federal and state tax reduce tax credit reduce the cost of your solar array by 45%. So right off the bat, almost 50% of your array is paid for in tax savings. And then if you own a business, you'll save even more with depreciation because solar is an appreciable asset. And then this is all before you even factor in your energy savings. So you're getting a huge chunk of this solar array paid for in tax savings, and then the rest is covered in energy, um, energy savings on your electric bill. So let's look at this example for a commercial array. So say you buy a solar array for your business and the gross system cost is $100,000. You'll take 30% of that in the federal tax credit You'll take another 15% in the Iowa State tax credit. You'll use depreciation, and then you'll end up at a net cost of around $28,000. So right off the bat, you can see that almost 75% of your array is paid for in tax savings. 
Um, so you may have heard earlier this year, there was some news that the Iowa tax credit was in jeopardy. Um, there was some legislation put forward to try to remove it from the budget. Um, however, in May, we did learn that the tax credit is safe for another year. Um, there was $5 million in funding was appropriated for the 2019 tax credit. If you're really interested in that, you can read the appropriations bill, section 35. Um, if you're really, really interested in it, you can join my legislative reading club. We read every Friday, different legislation, it's super exciting. Um, but the money is there for the 2019 tax credit. So what does this mean for you? If you've been interested in solar or you're looking into solar, what does this mean for you right now? So the clock is ticking. Um, the 2019 tax credits were gone well before the end of the month of May. So all the tax credits for 2018, the whole calendar year, were used before May was even over. So now we're chipping into 2019 tax credits and we're already in $1 million into that $5 million. So one fifth of the 2019 tax credits are already gone. Um, historically, they do go real quick as we've seen in 2018. And now we're seeing again in 2019. Um, if you install a system in 2018, you'll still be eligible for this tax credit. However, rather than taking it in this year's taxes, you'll have to take the tax credit for 2019 taxes for the state tax credit. We expect these credits to be gone before we enter into the new year. As I just described, historically, they do go quite quick. Uh, you'll still be eligible if you buy in 2018 for the federal tax credit on your 2018 taxes. So again, if you buy a solar array in 2018, you'll use your federal tax credit for your 2018 taxes. You'll use your Iowa solar tax credit in 2019 taxes, and that will be issued in May of 2019. So what are your next steps? Um, there's no guarantee that these credits will be available next year. Again, there was legislation put forward to try to remove them in 2019. We worked really hard to keep them. There's no guarantee that they'll be there in 2020. And even if they are there, they're start, they will start stepping down. So if you've been considering solar, now is the best time. You'll only lose money on the potential savings you could have in your tax credits. And every month you wait, you're still writing an electric bill and you're still sending that money to your electric company. So how to qualify for tax credits. So we've gone through what they are. We've gone through why they look so appetizing and why you should be interested if you have a tax liability or high electric bill. So to qualify for the tax credits, you have to one, call us. Two, work with your renewable energy consultant. Maybe you already have one. Maybe you're already looking at solar. Um, you'll work with this renewable energy consultant on designing a system that's going to match your needs and what you need solar to do for you. You'll buy and install the system, and then you'll apply for tax credits after your system is turned on. So this is another instance in which the federal tax credit is a little different than the state tax credit. The federal tax credit is just another form you'll fill out when you're filing your taxes. The state of Iowa tax credit is an application that we'd fill out for you after your system is turned on. And then you'll fill out that, we'll fill out the application and then you'll get in the mail from the Iowa Department of Revenue a certificate saying that you received a tax credit and it'll have instructions on how to claim that there. So, you know, you have to be installed and be turned on all before you can even apply for the tax credit. Um, so it's good to know that the timeline is quite lengthy. So if you're looking for something to offset your 2018 taxes, you should be looking into solar right now. That's the end of the presentation, but if you have any questions at all, um, please put them in the ask a question tab and I will be happy to answer them. We have a couple. Where is the best place or website to purchase solar panels and related items? The best place is simpleray.com. We would be happy to work with you on um, designing a system that's gonna work for you, um, seeing your electric bills and figuring out how we can help you save money on that. Will the state tax credit be available in 2020? Great question, Ben. Um, we're not sure if the tax credit will be available in 2020. Um, legislation could be put forward to try to remove it again. Um, as of right now, you know, we're not really sure. We don't wanna guarantee something that could be removed. Um, 
do farmers qualify for residential or commercial tax credits? So Carl, that depends on um, how you're filing your taxes. Most farms are run as a business. They're an LLC or they have some type of business entity. And if you buy it through the business, then you would qualify for a commercial tax credit. And you'd also qualify for depreciation then as well. Does getting a free quote mean I have to install an array? No, getting a free quote does not mean you have to install an array. We would hope that after seeing your quote and seeing all the savings and tax benefits that you would want to install an array, but it does not mean that you will have to require, that we will require you to buy an array. If I install my solar array in 2018, do I still get to use the credit in 2019? So if you install your array in 2018, you will qualify for the 2018 federal tax credit. You will not qualify for the 2018 state tax credit as all of those were claimed well before the end of May. Um, you will get to use the 2019 tax credit. So for the state, you will get to use the 2019 tax credit for your 2019 taxes. Does anyone else have any other questions? Ask in that ask a question box. And then if you do have any other questions that you can't think of right now, um, send us an email, hello at simpleray.com. Give us a call, 1-800-8080-SUN, or look us up online and use our little chat box to ask us questions there. And then our website is simpleray.com. And then if nobody else has any other questions, um, thanks for tuning in. I hope it was really helpful and informative and that you see the tax benefits and the savings with solar.